Hi guys and welcome to Soap Scoop. I'm Amy and this week we've got a huge Mitchell confession in EastEnders, a tragic death in Emmerdale, more trouble for the Windus family in Corrie and a kidnapping in Hollyoaks. First to Wolford where Ronnie Mitchell's recent crime catches up with her when she returns to Albert Square. As Ronnie arrives back from Ibiza with Roxy, she walks straight into a showdown with Sharon who threatens to tell the police the truth about Carl's murder unless she leaves and stays away for good this time. Ronnie continues to show her ruthless side as she calls Sharon's bluff, but she finally panics when she spots a police car pulling up outside the Mitchell house. Fearing that she's about to be arrested, Ronnie confesses to Roxy that she killed Carl, but what kind of reaction will she get from her sister? Over to Emmerdale, and last week we told you that Gemma Andrews would collapse after a violent row with her best friend Belle. When Jill is finally found unconscious the next day, she is immediately rushed to hospital, but despite the doctor's best efforts, there's nothing that can be done for Gemma and she tragically dies. A terrified Belle tries to keep quiet about what happened, but when Lisa becomes suspicious, she is forced to come clean about the fight. Lisa's advice to Belle is surprising as she instructs her daughter to just forget about what happened. But with the guilt eating away at Belle and the police asking questions, can she really cope with the cover-up? Coming up on Corey, the Windus family's troubles with sleazy Pat Phelan are only just beginning. Now last week we told you how Phelan mysteriously disappeared after being attacked by Gary, but it turns out that he's not dead and he returns to blackmail Gary a few days later. As Phelan has footage of the attack on CCTV, he vows to go straight to the police unless Owen completes the mill conversion for a basic wage. Finally, there's a mystery in Hollyoaks as Tegan's baby daughter Rose disappears. The kidnap happens just as Sienna is taking an interest in the Lomax family, thinking that Perry could be her long-lost daughter. This means Nancy sees Sienna as the prime suspect when Rose goes missing, but could another culprit be responsible? Well, that's all for this week, but I'll be back each and every Tuesday for a brand new soap video.